What is up guys welcome back to another Galaxy Grand Prix video ji yep, I still have this phone and to make videos on this rom is been ported from the J526 and now all might be thinking marshmallow 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 but sadly no mellow I don't know how the developer managed but he found a Galaxy J5 2016 running Android 5.1.1 lollipop like it's just crazy that in one country the Samsung is solely making a whole another lollipop rom for the Galaxy J5 2016 rather than shipping it out with the marshmallow which is just weird but as you can see by that weirdness we also have a all new rom which is not a marshmallow but definitely from the j5 2016 so you do get some new goodies over here as you can see new launcher like note 5 new animations it's not like the s6 like before if you go to the drop down notification panel you get a s finder looking at this keyboard i guess this is the chinese version as you can see you also get to choose between languages over here right before you can search stuff over here now if you don't know how s finder works it's just like search bar in windows where you can search for anything like the type time location tag and if i search for my name it will be all of the voice records the images which i am in like everything which i've been tagged in or something which is just amazing how samsung managed now of course the camera doesn't work by this time but the developer is still trying to fix it now this one looks from the galaxy a6 as you can add the priority centers but as i don't have any kind of contacts i can't add anyone going to the battery you don't get network power saving as the on 7 port over here which is kind of bad you just get the ultra power saving which seems to be working the clock is from the note 5 i keep on saying s6 because the ui was pretty same on the note 5 and the s6 these apps are like the full versions of the apps as you don't already know in the world clock you just get a list in order to add any kind of destination but over here you get a 3d world which doesn't lag at all i still don't know why samsung doesn't provide it on the premium phones but let's just go to the settings going to the display you also get daydream which is not vr it's actually the screen saver you get the screen mode which is of no use on our lcd display as you can see you can also adjust the size also you can control the font over here outdoor mode fully works going to the themes you also have the theme center from the marshmallow which is quite nice you can also add some asset themes to make it look like an asset but going to the lock screen you also have a lock effect you also get popping colors from the s5 i wanted it so much since it like came with the s5 in 2014 and not even with the lollipop update we got to but uh, nothing new over here going to the about device galaxy j5 2016 no lies over here as this has the latest security patch like two months Ago. I guess that J5 doesn't even have marshmallow in its whole life, which is very sad. You can adjust your screen grade, go into the edit page, you get the ultra power saving sync and other stuff. There is also NFC, but it wouldn't work as we don't have the chip inside us. So guys, thanks for watching. This was a short release review of the Technetium ROM E1. Hope you guys enjoyed and if you found this helpful, please drop a like and see you in the next one. Peace.